put your coat on. Put it on. This is Spokane, Washington on the 11th of October and we're looking at a big mural designed by artist Ben Joyce going up on a new development. We're going to meet the artist here in a few minutes. He's going to be interviewed. His kids are climbing on the riverfront sign here and the Spokane River is behind us over here. But Ben, Joyce, was born in Acton and went to Antelope Valley High Schools and now is a world-renowned artist. Here comes the artist now, Ben. He had to park up above, couldn't park down below. So he's making his way down to the bottom of the <laughs> bottom of the hill. And then they're gonna interview him here. And this is how it's going to look. The Papillon by Ben. This is for a uh, real estate development, which is over here. Redevelopment. So first of all, Cy, what kind of football do you play? Flag. What kind? Flag. Oh, flag. Okay. So how was it? My first game. Okay, you gotta talk to us this way. Okay. Yeah. My first game, I got an interception. Oh, nice. Ooh. And then my second game, I got a touchdown. Oh, good. Oh, that's nice. Do you like it? Yeah. The sport? Yeah? Good. And there's Nora, the monkey. Oh, no. <laughs> Look the at The climber. The climber. She looks she climbs. She is a climber. <laughs> and there's Ava. Ta da! And Grandma. She's taller than Grandma now. That's right, she is. <laughs> well, whom I have the pleasure of talking to. My name is Alex Eakins. I'm a partner in Selkirk Development here in Spokane, Washington. Okay. And we're developing one of the rarest properties in Spokane. It sits here on the north bank. It has views from the river. It's next to a publicly funded site. Sure. For a new regional sports complex. Uh -huh. And we've taken a lot of inspiration from the community involvement here. And so we've designated this the Papillon Building, and we're going to have the Papillon Fund. And you can find more about that at selkirkdev.com. Wow, that'll be 
quite an exciting and interesting thing for Spokane. It will be. Um, this is going to be uh, the new core of downtown. Uh -huh. This is also going to serve as the regional tournament headquarters for sports in the Inland Northwest. Uh -huh. That'll be good. Yes. And right across the street from the Spokane Convention Center, that's handy. Yes, we have the arena, we have a new kids park, we have a skate park, we uh -huh. have the new sports complex and a completely redeveloped riverfront Spokane. And uh -huh. this makes it a perfect storm for this development. Uh -huh. It's a rare and unique opportunity. I see, I see. And uh, Ben was saying that uh, you're gonna have a, a high-rise building. Yes, so the mural here that Ben is coordinating and designing is the first phase of a much larger project. Uh -huh. We're going to be building a six-story tower next to the Papillon that's going to provide connectivity to the sports complex. And we're going to be building a 12-story, which includes a five-story parking garage podium underneath. And so every building will have unobstructed views of the Spokane River and the brand new Riverfront Park. Oh, won't that be exciting? We're very excited about uh -huh. that. Uh-huh. So. And this is 2023. You're going yes. to be yes, wrapping it we're up. We're breaking ground. This is a shovel-ready project, and we will be done shortly, all within a 31-month time frame. Okay. Well, best wishes for successful Thank you very completion. Much. I appreciate talking to you. Uh -huh, good. Now, give me the spelling of your last name at the end of this clip. Yes. How do you spell it? Eakins. E K I N S. Okay. Alex Eakins. Got it. A L E X. Yes. Got it. Thanks. Thank you. Very good. So, uh, who do I have the pleasure of talking to? I'm uh, I'm Damien Cronkite. I'm uh, one of the members of Selkirk Development here in Spokane. Yeah. Um, and uh, my role is largely on the design side, so I help facilitate the uh, the architects, engineers, entitlements, things of that nature uh -huh. for the project. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, this is going to be a multifaceted development. It uh, is. Yes. Um, it's it's uh, it's it's very much a community uh, project. Uh, we're designing it for the com community experience and involvement, um, as well as you know the, the private side, uh -huh. uh, uh, the market need for for office space, retail space, sure. hospitality. Sure, sure, and I guess people can place their order for a spot already, right? I mean, they can rent a, yes. an office site. Yes, um, uh, oh gosh, you know, why don't we cut to... He's, oh, yeah. That's his, that's <laughs> yes. his, okay. So, and, uh, I'm Dr. Jackson, I'm uh, with Selkirk Development, and I'm a financial analysis or analyst. Um, and we have, oh shoot, about 140,000 uh, square feet of space uh, potentially leased up uh, and we have letters of intent signed for almost 8,000 square feet. Isn't that good? Uh, yes, uh, we have not even broke ground yet, it's still dirt, so uh -huh. uh, pretty impressive. I think it really indicates that there's a, a complete lack of modern uh, Class A office space in Spokane, Washington. And hoping to solve that with this development. And not only um, with the office space, but there's uh, you know, a, a real lack of luxury multifamily. Uh, and this property here just has so many characteristics that make it so um, uh, enviable for any sort of tenant uh, to be in here. Uh, the energy uh, that's going to be here, the uh, amenities, the finish level, it's all going to be perfectly uh, aligned with the needs of modern tenants. So we're expecting not only to attract a lot of the bigger office tenants here in Spokane, but also to attract uh, uh, tenants from out of town. Sure. Um, and uh, the reason why we believe this is that in the past there has been a number of tenants that have uh, looked to relocate or add an office into Spokane, but just due to the lack of office space, there's, there's no... Uh, hey, couldn't uh, no do way, it. Can't do it. Well, location, location, location. Now, my dad was in the business, and this that's is... what he preached all the time. Location, location, location. You got a great spot. I think this is probably the best location, uh, without a doubt, in the Inland Northwest. Um, probably it would be in the United States, one of the highest quality locations, just in terms of access to public amenities, uh, the neighborhood that it's in, yeah. uh, and just all of the interconnectivity between public and private that's going to occur. It's just not something that traditionally happens in America, and 
and so we're going to be pushing the envelope not only for Spokane, uh, but for uh, construction and development um, throughout the United States. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, best of luck, and uh, let's go over and take a look at the TV <laughs> reporter yeah. going up on the lift to. <laughs> Reporter and the artist is up there on the lift. There's Ben. TV interview up on the cherry picker and Ben is used to that he got training at Acton where he did building projects at his home not that high but almost that high Here's Ben, the artist, explaining the mural for the TV interview. Give me a little idea of what inspired the design of that mural we just saw. Yeah, so the, the inspiration behind uh, the Papillon mural was, number one, the history of the building is 
it used to be a paint store, and so we wanted to really capture uh, the vibrancy of, of that history. But then, the cascading waterfall number one to to reflect Spokane's geographical region and the incredible falls that we have. Uh, but then also you get this cascade of color coming over the building to tie that history of the paint with the, these vibrant colors. But as it hits the base, it'll eventually explode into all of this activity of, of water movement and butterflies taking flight because um, there's a theme throughout Riverfront Park of of the butterflies and that dates back to the uh, World's Fair and um, and we just thought it would be a great way to, to really capture um, you know that the, not only the theme of, of the butterflies of the papillon but then the color of history of the building and, and then bring in that all to life and you know there's almost a, uh, a, a taking flight to really where Spokane is today. Well, that's really interesting. Seeing you up there on that uh, cherry picker, I uh, couldn't help but remember building uh, the um, patio and up on the scaffold and you fell off, but luckily your belt hooked, yeah. hooked on the side and you were hanging up there. And I didn't realize I was training for for later. <laughs> right, yeah. In life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, a little different, but uh, but yeah, certainly working on multiple heights is, is part of part of the uh, the, the uh, work description. Sure. Have you ever been interviewed up on a lift like that before? Um, you know, that's a good question. I don't think I have. That's the first yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful piece, and uh, congratulations on yeah, thanks. It's, getting it's that done. And it, it'll be done, you know, nine, ten months from now. But uh, it's it's the process has started, so uh -huh. yeah, it'll, it'll be you know uh, an evolutionary uh, image. Uh -huh. yeah. Good. Thank you.